In this video, I'm going to give you one of the most important tips that I could possibly give you in any Madden ever, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I think this tip is going to pretty much 10x your defense overnight. And it's very simple, but it's very important and very effective. And you really need to be doing this against pretty much any meta formation that you face. So I want to go over how to do it against some of the different meta formations you might be seeing, like bunch, trips, tight, you tr or, uh, uh, bunch strong, all that stuff. So the tip is basically this. We're going to be in a base alignment. It doesn't really matter that we're in a base alignment. It's just it is what it is. And then we're going to put our zone coverage on default, and we're going to be coming out in this cover four drop. Now, whether you come out in cover four or DB fire two is really irrelevant. The alignment is going to basically be the same, and it's essentially this. When you press your defense, notice that the safeties stay about 15 yards off of the ball. Now, in real life, this is actually helpful for uh, providing them leverage to be able to basically top certain routes. In Madden, if you think about how Madden works in general, especially in Ultimate Team, but it also in regs, if I bring these safeties like literally down here, okay, I'm going to bring them super far into the box. What you might think would happen is, okay, well, they're just going to be able to hit me over the top with a streak, right? So we'll show this real quick. And what you'll see is they never, ever, ever will get beat over the top on a streak. So what this allows us to do is use a concept known as flow coverage. What flow coverage essentially is, is basically understanding that when you move players, they are going to have a, a, uh, a movement pattern built into the game, coded into the game, that is going to cause them to flow into that movement pattern, which you can then leverage to be able to defend other routes. And this is also the purpose, part of the purpose behind base aligning. Uh, these outside quarters, because if these outside quarters were inside, so let's say the quarters were like right here. Okay. And let's say that I ran um, a corner route to the right side. And then we'll just use this tight end corner as a basic example. So what you're going to see is this outside quarter. He's never going to defend that tight end corner route. Okay. As you can see. So when you base align your quarters, you're utilizing this flow coverage concept. And so by baseline in your quarters, you're going to be using this uh, flow coverage concept. And so now they're, they're about 10, they're, they're significantly outside, right? So they're going to flow back into a certain pocket of the area, and then they're going to look for work, right? Well, what they did was they flowed back into that certain pocket, which is that deep outside corner area, about 20, 25 yards off the line of scrimmage. And then they looked for work, and they actually, you know, basically bagged the tight end. So we're using the same basic formula and concept when we're using the tip, bring your safeties into the box. It helps with run with the run. It helps with everything. They play everything better. They play man coverage better. They play zone coverage better. They play formation specific routes better. They play routes they shouldn't play if you bring them into the box. It is literally a 10x of your defense overnight with one simple strategy. Just bring these guys down. By bringing these guys down, it makes everything better. You could literally bring them down as far as here, and you will literally, I mean, they will never get beat. They just, they just won't. The only way they can get beat is if they're, um, if they're in half, and we'll talk about that in a second, because you will, uh, you do need to kind of be aware of that. But as you can see here, that streak, he's never going to beat him, okay? Very important. Very important that you understand that. Now, what would beat this? Um, really, what would beat this would be, let's say we're trying to put this guy in half, and we bring him all the way down here. Now, obviously, we're bringing him down significantly low into the, into the defense, and we're trying to make a point here. But if I was to go to verticals, and let's say I put a little flat to the left, the deep half, um, he actually might even get back on this. He actually got back on that. Um, he's be, because the cloud flat is not rerouting him. He won't get back as fast. Um, and, and that's the only thing that you really have to worry about here. But if we bring this guy down here and we have this outside quarter over here, well, that outside quarter is going to go to the streak as well. And so again, you just have to like think stuff like this through and they're never going to be able to hit that streak over the top. So now we're going to take that same principle and we're going to apply it to trips tight end. And the reason I want to show it against trips tight end is because bunch is kind of a, a, a combination of spreading compression on one side of the field 
and then trips is kind of similar, but it's more so a spread formation in general, just the way it kind of practically functions. So I want to go over this uh, out of trips tight in. So baseline, again, we're using this idea of flow coverage. So this guy is already running to the deep outside sideline. So what you might think they could do is they could just basically snap and throw this over the fender. But as you can see, he's able to recover to that route. Now, a way that you could, um, you know, a way that you could actually manipulate this is again, back to that deep half example. And the reason why is because again, the cloud flat will not reroute him. And that deep half is in a, like if I put a streak there, the streak will kind of hold that deep half for a second. If I wait too long, I can't throw it. But as you can see right there, I am able to do that. Now, how could we counter that? How could we counter that? Again, it's all about bringing your safeties down into the box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to cover two and we're gonna bring this safety out here, okay? We're gonna bring him down in the box, but we're also bringing him slightly outside. There's no purpose for this safety Poyer to be over here because there's no outside receiving thread he has to respect. So we're gonna bring him inside like so. Okay, that's going to help him to get inside leverage on tight end streak routes and stuff like that. So they try to throw this. And as you can see, still able to kind of throw it, but he's actually over there. He's actually able to kind of make a play. So what I like to do against trips tight end, because I don't have to worry as much, um, because I don't have to worry as much about leverage to the to the tight end side, is we'll actually unbase a line. And what you'll see is it'll put this, um, it'll put this guy over the top of him. This will help a little bit with the leverage. And now when we bring these guys down in the box, it kind of makes more of a difference uh, in terms of, you know, if you were to run a defense that looks something like what I'm showing you on your screen. So now you see here to the left, he gets rerouted and still able to hit it. So we're going to have to use maybe an outside third over there or something, but just understand like, these are some of the reasons, you know, why this stuff matters. And uh, if you were running a cover four, one of the best routes that people like to hit is the triangle receiver in the seam area. Now, this still could work, but we're going to have a lot better of a shot with that safety down in the box. So you see here we get a reroute. They try to throw it right in that little pocket. That safety is unfortunately didn't quite make play on it, but he's still a lot closer and it will at least make that throw you know, they're going to have to actually like think it can't be the most brain dead thing in the world. So again, moving these guys over so that you're, what I would say is um, in the real world, they call this capping receivers so that you're capping the receiving threats they have. So you see here, they try to like throw that right in there. If that's a mid zone KO, you got a, a real good chance of knocking that ball out. So last formation I wanted to cover uh, today with you guys in terms of just understanding uh, why and how this works is I did want to cover the tight. So why is base align press dollar so good against tight? It's so good against tight because you don't have to use these outside corners to cap anything. They don't have any spread threats. So all you have to do is just move these guys down into the box. And this is one of the best tight defenses in the entire game because these quarter zones, what are the route combos out of tight? Well, you're either going to get a double corner concept. You're going to get a slant post concept in which they're trying to hit the seams. And as you can see, we're able to play that really, really well with this coverage. The whole idea that I wanted to try to get across in this video, guys, is how important it is to cap receiving threats, especially in the slot. So if you're defending a spread set, if you're defending a tight set, the principle really cross applies regardless of the formation that you're defending. It, the basic premise here is you have to have a cap and that cap can't be 30 yards off the field because of set feet lead. You have to bring these guys down five to 10 yards off the field and they will play significantly better for you. And now, you know, everyone likes to throw seam streaks out of spread. Well, you're throwing it right into a KO and potentially an interception. So bring your safeties into the box. It will literally 10 X your defense overnight. If this tip was helpful for you, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my full offensive and defensive eBooks. It's only $10 to become a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.